Previously on Full Throttle Saloon. From angry bartenders. I don't know. Balls and time. Oh, that's her damn. To stealing bartenders. She just stole it right there. Michael Ballard got the rally started with a bang. He's into trouble. Michael, uh, this is Red. Red is locked up downtown to county jail. Then. And it's making emergency, so I'm not the dilly dally. I could just see the whole 30 acres going up in flames. One week a year, the small town of Sturgis, South Dakota, welcomes half a million bikers. Welcome to Sturgis! And at the heart of the world's largest biker rally, Front. on a big night, a good bartender in a busy section can take in three to five thousand dollars for the boss and a thousand in tips for themselves. Do you know how to serve liquor? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get you some liquor then. I don't know what their potential is until I can see them work. And so that's where the switching comes in. We're keeping her at eight. I put them on a station. If it's just not matching their personality or their get up and go or their hustle, then I got to move them to a different spot. You have to, it has to be up to you how much money you make. Meanwhile, Michael Ballard starts day two already behind last year's pace. We got to do 30,000 on day shift today in order to make up for it. He needs to play catch up to keep the throttle open for business. You never make up for what you lose, but hopefully we can make a little bit of extra money tonight. We have a decent night tonight and try to come out. What time Southern rock first? band Molly Hatchet has drawn okay, big crowds you. in Sturgeon. Cover spot. I already got him. That bar back pissed me off. Ooh. Whether you're stealing people from us or you're stealing Michael's money, stealing is stealing. Hey, you know where a guy named Levi is, a bar back? Yeah, he's working these bars up this way. I'm going to confront him on, on what I'm hearing. Hey, buddy, you need to come in the office with me. Hey, so what's the deal with you recruiting my bartenders about being strippers downtown? I've done what? that. Yep. You're telling them that they can go downtown, they need to go down there and be strippers no, no, and one-eyed no, jacks. No, no, no. I could go down there and make more money being strippers at One Eye Jackson. and it can't work yeah, in here. Mike, that's not true. I wouldn't know. I don't know, that's what I, that's what's happened. I mean, I believe these girls every single freaking year during a rally. So it wasn't much of a surprise to find out he's back in jail again. Rhett's picked up his second DUI in two nights and won't be able to perform tonight. He always falls off the wagon. It's kind of like put somebody with a gambling problem, dropping them off in the middle of Las Vegas. He gets to the, to the full throttle. There's women and liquor and who knows what else is flying around during a rally, and he dives right in the middle of it. Rhett needs $10,000 bail and someone with a lot of trust in him. I can't afford to risk the $10,000 because the guy goes to jail every year. I don't trust him actually showing up to court uh, at this point, me losing, I don't want to lose that 10 grand. Can't afford it. Hi, Mike. Yes, nice, nice to meet you. Grab your chair. I said I would come out here and talk to you and vouch for him. How do you get two DUI? How do you he got it, he bonded out times? and got picked up again the next day. Rhett, he, he's just a mess. He has the market cornered on what he does, and he still chooses to be a up. Willing to pay the thousand, but he's wanting me to sign a deal for two. What the grand, but... They won't. I I have put up. I would put up my house for this kid. Right. But I can't do that. Laws prevent. But it wasn't easy, and this is only day one. Coming up, it's the biggest gamble in full throttle history. Corn is by far the most expensive band that we've ever had at the full throttle. We're sweating bullets right now. I mean, we're still probably a thousand people shy of just breaking even. Red Rotten Run is the world's largest biker bar. It blows my mind that there is even a bar like this that exists. This is the Full Throttle Saloon. Yes. It's day two of the rally, and after only a couple hours of sleep, Angie's back to the grind. Disappointed by slow sales on night one, she and Michael have decided to reshuffle the 80 bartenders that man the throttle's 60 cash registers. Are you wondering where your spot is? Yeah. It's this bar right here, right up front. I really like Rhett. He was so out of control last year. He was literally going down in the cabin area and taking a shower and walking out in where everybody's eating naked. 
I like them as a person. But from a business standpoint, yeah, from my business standpoint, I don't feel comfortable putting up ten thousand dollars. Okay. Thank All you. All right. Thanks. All okay. right. All right, Susan. Thanks. I'm really soft-hearted when it comes to trying to help people and give people a second chance and a third mm -hmm. chance. I can't take that gamble of losing ten thousand dollars. Hi, sir. It's Gary. Hi. Nice to meet you. A national magazine is running a promotion over the years. Michael hopes they can do it again. You know, we got Molly Hatchet tonight. It's Sunday night. I'm hoping we have a decent night tonight. By midday, the crowd starts to build. But so do the problems. There's a bartender out there that has a bar back that works for One Eye Jacks at night and is recruiting our bartenders to go down and work as dancers at One Eye Jacks. All right. They call in the bartender to find out more about the poacher. I wasn't trying to be a telltale or anything. He's like, with those big tits, you should totally go to work for One Eye Jacks and be a stripper. And so I said, no, it's, I'm not a stripper. I said, I'm in sales. That's what I do for a living every day. I'm yeah. in sales. I'm not going to be a stripper. Do you want me to go get him and bring him in no, here? No, I want you to find somebody. Stunt writer Rhett Rotten's been arrested again. Uh, I still have more week. I want to see these signs from my boss. Let me have way out of here. So Rhett's locked up. How in the world did he get locked up in the damn jail? My name's Rhett, and you watch me go. Give it up out there. Rhett's a really good guy when he's straight and sober and he's not on anything, but he, he's always into trouble. He's always in jail. I think for the past nine years, he has went to jail. There's two of them telling me that story. I mean, I wouldn't, like I said, if it's one, I'd understand it, but two, I don't. You know. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I just somewhere. rather just clock out and let's call it, okay? We're just, I mean, I don't, I don't need that going on. I don't, I mean, I, this is a $10 million business. Last thing I need to do is we go bust our ass to hire people and, Let's so, just clock it is, out. It, and it call is it. what it is. So yeah, let's just, let's clock just clock out, out and then... call it. Okay. Recruiting right. bartenders from the full throttle always gets a swift reaction. The bar back is escorted off the premises by security. I need the shirt back. After he returns all his throttle property. I came to work here from One Eye Jacks. I wouldn't recruit people to go down there. But oh well, you know whatever happens, happens. <laughs> 